Hey y'all and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cherie and welcome to Cherie's Life of Luxury. So what we're doing today is pretty much a behind the scenes, get ready with me for my photo shoot. I actually plan to shoot for today, it's April 30th and you guys are going to go with me um, to the shoot and watch me shoot and you're also going to watch me achieve this makeup and hair look as well so make sure you stay tuned make sure you hit subscribe so that when I do more of these because I will be doing more photo shoots fashion shows events networking events and travel videos things like that this year so make sure you're subscribed your post notification bell is on and just make sure you're following your girl on Instagram as well so you'll be notified whenever I post my pictures from my photo shoots and things like that make sure you follow me on Instagram for that content you know because if you're a video girl then YouTube is perfect but if you're a picture girl or if you want to see what I'm doing in the moment then Instagram is way better I don't really post on YouTube nearly as much as I post on Instagram so yeah make sure you're following me there and yeah face was beat by me honey so if you want to get your face beat by me you live in Atlanta or in the Atlanta area Book me at theluxurycollection.com or on Style Seat. You can go to that Style Seat booking link on my Instagram, my business Instagram, which is the Luxury Collection on Instagram. Luxury has two X's. I have it up on the screen and down below. So you can go and follow me, girl, and get your face beat and get your hair because this hair is from the Luxury Collection. I crimped it myself. You guys are going to see that here in just a moment. And yeah, I took my wig off when I got home from my shoot and I just put it back on. So if it look a little crazy or my baby hairs look tucked in, that's why. But anyway, yes, I've been home from my shoot for about 30 minutes. My shoot was at 2 and currently it's about 7 p.m. So yeah, the face is still sitting. Five hours later, I was sweating. I was changing outfits. I went shopping after the shoot. So yeah. <clears throat> okay you guys I know I look busted please excuse that but um what we are working on right now we're working on these crimps of my wig I'm crimping my 30 inch wig from the luxury collection and um, I actually started working on the crimps last night but I got tired <laughs> so I went to bed and uh, so I'm back up currently it is 9 38 a.m my shoot is at 2 p.m so i'm about to go ahead and get these um crimps done i was about to say waves get these crimps done and then once i'm done with the crimps i'm gonna actually like customize the lace here well i've already customized the lace because it's a lace closure wig so i've already customized the lace i'm just going to go ahead and um basically cut the lace off I have two outfits for the shoot you guys are going to see those in just a moment and um and i've already pretty much packed my shoot bag usually when i go shoot anywhere whether it's a professional shoot or just going out to shoot around town usually i go ahead and pack my louis bag and um my Louis double bag actually, and put everything in there, shoes, makeup, nail glue, all of the things. And um, so I already pretty much like 85% packed that bag. I just really need to get this hair done. And then, um, yeah, do my skincare routine, which I did last night, but I'm gonna do a, a day one today and then do my makeup. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So y'all keep on watching. Let's get done with this mother freaking wig. I already got my crimper on. Y'all look how cute this crimp iron is. Should I start selling these? It's so cute. It's so cute. Look at it. It's pink, black, it has a little screen right here. You know my colors are pink, so this just really screams luxury to me. So what I'm doing is I'm spraying my pieces with the thermal heat protectant from Cantu, thermal shield heat protectant from Cantu. And then that makes it really soft and then it protects the hair, it makes it shiny also, but not like greasy because it's not an oil at all. And then I'm using my Got To Be Freeze, Blasting Freeze Spray 
um, to basically crimp the hair so and hold the hair in place. So I spray it before I hit it with the the um, crimp iron and then I spray it after I hit it with the crimp iron also. But I don't spray as much after as I do before, you know? And look, this still is really pretty, or it's still a really pretty wave. But um, I want it to be more tight of a wave. Like, this is more, way more tight wave. And that's what I want. And because um, between now and two o'clock, they might fall a little bit, but as long as they have that nice amount of got to be in it, then it should stay. That print turned out really pretty. Really pretty. And this is actually my first time crimping hair. Well, really my second, cause I did it last night, but my first time like crimping a wig. So I am kind of learning as I go a little bit. At the same time, I did watch some videos and um, I think handle it on my own like I could have went to the shop and got them to do my hair why do that when I do hair and I sell hair like I can crimp my own hair I can buy my own crimp iron yeah makes sense to me like do your own hair <laughs> I sprayed a little bit too much of that heat protection but you can never really have too much heat protection spray it's like you can never really have too much of this got to be i'm probably just gonna wash this hair after the shoot not like today but within like another week or so once the, the crimps have fallen and it's not really well it's gonna stay wavy because this is a wavy unit so even after a week or so it's gonna still be pretty wavy um but once it starts to get like stiff and dirty looking and whatever then i'm gonna go ahead and wash it and probably straighten it Let me pause Kristen. I'm watching Kristen Alexis. Okay, so as you can see, I'm pretty much like 95, 98% done with the wig. I just have to finish this, which is really just gonna be me cutting off the lace because it's a closure wig. So I didn't feel like that was necessary to do right now. If y'all hear anything in the background, it's my um, air fryer. I have some turkey bacon in the air fryer right now. But um, yeah, so like I was saying, I'm just gonna cut off the lace here and then um, cut the baby hairs real short. And they're gonna be really thin baby hairs as you can see. So yeah, I have like two, like well this section and then one more section left to crimp and then I'll be done with my crimps. Then I'm gonna go ahead and customize the lace real quick, put some foundation on it, some powder or whatever. It's 11.25 now, like I said, my shoot is at two. So I feel like I'm doing good because honestly, like most girls who do like pay a photographer, pay a makeup artist and pay a hairstylist, most girls would probably just be getting done with their hair right about now too and headed to their makeup artist. So that's pretty much, you know, the vibes um, I'm going for. I'm pretty much my own glam team right now. So as you can see, I'm doing my own hair and curling my own hair and um installing my own hair i'm actually not going to install this wig i don't know if i said that or not but i'm not installing this wig i'm actually just going to wig it like just wear it as a wig 
And um, then when I put it on, I just put a little bit of powder right here where my hair is. And I'm gonna go with my bonnet on. So I'm sure he's seen worse. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna just go with my bonnet on and pretty much just put the wig on once I get there. Cause I don't wanna risk my crimps getting all like flat and um, getting messed up in the wind outside. Cause I'm, I'm pretty sure it's windy. So I don't want it to get messed up in the wind. And they turned out really pretty. I don't know if y'all can see it right now. Let's see. It turned out really pretty. The crimps are beautiful. I'm so glad I did crimps. Um, the ones on the bottom that I did last night are falling, but it's still like a pretty wave under there, which is all I can really ask for as far as crimps go. You know, all I can really ask for is nice structured crimps on top and a nice little wave at the bottom or on the back, on the nape area. So yeah. Um, I'm actually, like I said, I've already packed my, um, I pretty much already packed my shoot bag. So that makes life easier for me. Have something to eat. I'm just now getting hungry. It's 11 something in the morning, but I'm just now getting hungry. So if I'm getting hungry now, if I don't eat until after my shoot, I'm gonna really be starving. Um, so yeah, I'm just whipping something up. I don't wanna buy any fast food or anything this morning. I also made some coffee. So I took a little break from doing the wig and just went and put some turkey bacon in the air fryer, a bagel in the oven, which I need to go take out. And um, I put an egg in the microwave because um, Gina Janine, if you watch her channel, then you know, she put us on, like you can put an egg in the microwave and it comes out in a bowl and it comes out as a perfect circle for like your bagels and sandwiches and stuff. So that's what I did. I'm just gonna add some either cheese or cream cheese and some spinach to my sandwich. And it's gonna be like a whole breakfast sandwich. Um, I mean, well, it is a whole breakfast sandwich, not like a breakfast sandwich. But anyway, I was just checking back in with y'all, letting you know I'm done with the hair. I'm not gonna comb out the crimps like at all. Even even when I, look, I got the hiccups because I'm hungry. Even when I get to the shoot location, I'm not combing out the crimps. I'm just gonna let them fall. And once they've fallen so much, maybe tomorrow or something, or maybe tonight, I'll run my fingers through them, but that's it. I'm not combing through them because I spray some has got to be, that if I do comb through them, it's just gonna be really frizzy. Sounds like my turkey bacon is pretty much done. So I got my breakfast, there it is. It's just, um, like I said, bagel, egg, turkey bacon, cheese, sandwich. I did burn my bagel a little bit, and it's an everything bagel. <laughs> but I did burn it a little bit, but that's okay. And then I've got my coffee, cause you know I'm sipping pretty, honey, period. Got my coffee, it's so good. I just used the Starbucks coffee with um, almond milk, Splenda, vanilla, extract, and a little sugar. Bon appetit. Powder I use is a little dark, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a lighter concealer as well. 
and this is just gonna kind of um, make it look more like scalp and it's also going to um, last a little longer than this powder will. So the darker powder was to go ahead and um, camouflage those knots. And then this lighter powder is to go ahead and make it look a lot more like scalp. Hey okay, y'all, so I just finished washing my face with my Cetaphil Gentle Face Cleanser. And then I just actually, that's all I've done. So I'm gonna go ahead in with my, what's it called? 24 hour moisturizer, Pond's 24 hour moisturizer and my Maybelline Master Prime Primer. And um, then I'm also gonna use my MAC Prep and Prime Essential Oil. I'm just gonna use one drop of this and then like two drops of this because I don't usually prime, but I'm gonna prime today for the simple fact that I'm gonna be wearing this makeup for the next like five hours. So I kind of think it's necessary a little bit. So I did one drop on my cheeks and then now I'm doing one drop. Did I do the lotion? I didn't even do the lotion, child. Oh my gosh. I'm like, why my face feel dry? So with the primer and the moisturizer, I don't really think it makes much of a difference what order you put it in as long as you put them on before the makeup. I'm doing this thing now where I'm recording with my back camera. So if I look crazy y'all, or I look too close or something, I'm sorry, I can't tell because I can't see myself. All right, so Prep and Prime, I mean, Pines and Master Prime by Maybelline. Now I'm just gonna do one. See, that was barely anything to just a little bit of this. And I'm putting it right here on my cheeks first because I want this area to glow the most. Then I want my T-zone to glow. Okay. I see my skin looks so beautiful and glowy already with no makeup because of that stuff. If I get out of frame, like I said, it's because I can't really see myself and because um, my makeup is right there. Be doing my makeup. That's why I was like, mm, should I do them now or later? But I'll probably still just fill them back in again with this brow gel once I finish my makeup to make sure they pop out. Y'all remind me to open the window for my plant before I leave too. Okay, I like to use this product generously. <clears throat> I'm gonna be using my Kylie Cosmetics um, makeup palette today, this one. So, yeah. I'm using this mirror. Okay, the brows look good already. Like, that's fresh, freshly threaded or freshly waxed brows are my fave. All right, so the reason I wanted to go ahead and do those first is because I use concealer as my base for my eyeshadows. So, can you see me? Okay, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and do under my brows to clean them up, which I, I really don't need to clean them up, but just to make them sharp. And I'm actually going to go in with a black eyeliner at the tail in just a minute to make them even sharper. Okay, and as y'all can see, my nails are not done, and I am not going to the salon to get them done. I have some press-on nails. I'm going to put those on. Once I finish my makeup, I didn't want to do them until after my makeup because, you know, even with regular acrylic nails, makeup can ruin them if you aren't careful, so... 
So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and do the base of my face, like the concealer, foundation, and powder. And I'll come back when I'm doing my um, eyeshadow and finishing. Okay, y'all, I'm back. The face is done. I'm in the middle of doing my nails. And I just threw on a dress that I'm going to put on, you know, basically with the fit. And then I just put on these cute earrings. I'm trying to figure out what necklace I want to wear. And if I don't like how it looks um with the fits then i'm just gonna take it off and do no necklace at all because my jewelry is already like yeah it's doing a thing okay period so yeah makeup is done nails are almost done hair is done i just tried on my wig and i really actually like it so yeah um the wig looks really good i didn't comb through it or anything i just tried it on to make sure i liked it Oh, shoot, I forgot to turn on the flash. But anyway, that's the update, you guys. I'm going to check in with you all when I get to the shoot location. Give you guys like a behind the scenes type of vibe, theme, or whatever. And then, yeah. And that'll be it. <laughs> so keep on watching. Okay, y'all. I have made it to the shoot location. It's super cute in here. So, yeah. These are the vibes. Perfect. Okay, y'all, so I hope you really enjoyed that behind the scenes, like, photo shoot type of content. I don't really get to do it that often because I'm always so busy actually shooting. But this time, this time I just, you know, I did the preparation with you all and I kind of let you all see what I was doing in the studio with my photographer. Ain't my photographer fine, y'all? It ain't my man or nothing, but he could be. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Hmm. But anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure that you are subscribed. Make sure that you hit that notification bell before you go and hit the like button on this video. If you made it all the way to this point, then you must have liked what you saw. Okay, okay. Um, comment down below your favorite part of this video, this behind the scenes photo shoot video. I planned it myself. I booked the photographer myself. I chose my outfits and styled them myself. I did my own makeup. I did my own hair. I did my own lashes. I did my own nails, like period like the whole thing from beginning to end i did that i did it so if you want to do a photo shoot for your brand or for your birthday for your graduation whatever then you can definitely do it yourself you don't need a stylist you don't need a hairstylist you don't need a nail tech you don't need your lash tech you don't need a makeup artist you can do it yourself and if you can't if you do need a makeup artist because you're not as skilled in that area then definitely book someone you know what i'm saying book them in advance book your shoot in advance and if you're in atlanta book me okay honey period theluxurycollection.com tlc wait
Don't act like you ain't know. <laughs> <laughs> thank y'all so much for watching my video i really 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 love y'all so much for sticking it out with me and for continuing to be supporters and subscribers if you have noticed i have been off of youtube for quite a while but it's only because i've been doing everything myself paying bills myself booking things myself planning trips myself planning um birthday events you know because i'm doing more than just going on a trip for my birthday this year and i wanted to have some bomb pictures for my birthday invitations my graduation invitations things like that and for my brand so this photo shoot was very necessary and yeah if you guys want to do a photo shoot in atlanta and you don't know who to book for as like as far as your photographer definitely let me know and i can refer you to my photographer but I will tussle if you try to take him from me with his fine ass, okay? Purr. So anyway, make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you like this video. Comment down below your favorite part, like I said. And let me know if you like this new ice, baby, because you know, I made a little stop at my jewelers to make sure my, my watch was fitting correctly. And um, I saw this little piece. I had to have it. Okay, we pushing P all summer. And if you ain't know, my last name was Perkins, so that's why I got a P. <laughs> I already have a I Style S, and it was really, really big. That was um like my main piece. You probably saw it in the video earlier. That was my that's like my main icy piece, but I wanted something smaller and daintier, and this is perfect. It's got a little crown on it. I was about to say tiara, but this is a crown. It's got a little crown on it. It's so cute. So anyway, I'm just gonna wrap this video up here. Thank y'all so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.